Hi, this is a, a video of a cherry dresser that I built the last two months. It's, uh, it's something that I've been wanting to do for a while, and, and this is result of two months worth of work and experimentation. So this is made out of cherry, uh, black cherry from Maine. Lumber I purchased in Maine a couple of years ago. The case was put together with dovetails. So the whole case was dovetailed together. The top are boards, sequential boards from the log. And uh, the sides are dovetailed at the bottom. And the feet are also dovetailed, but they're dovetailed and mitered, which was pretty complicated, but interesting to do. The, uh, the vertical stretchers between the drawers are all sliding dovetails. They're, they slide into place, and that gives the the carcass a lot more strength. There are no nails uh, joining the carcass except in putting the lower feet on. The horizontal stretches are also uh, dovetailed, which which I had never done before. Sliding dovetails, so quite interesting. The uh, the drawers are all uh, made out of one board. So every row of drawers is one board. So going horizontally, the grain carries from one drawer to the next, which, which makes it nice. And it will age over time and be a lot nicer color. The drawers are also obviously all dovetailed, which I really like doing. And I like using poplar side wood and called a secondary wood because the contrast between the white poplar and the cherry really highlights all the dovetails. The uh, poplar is from my father's tree farm. So we, we saw these boards a few years ago and dried and uh, so that makes it very nice the drawers are also flush mounted so the fit of the drawers is critical that the gaps are nice and uniform and every surface on the dresser is finished by hand planing or scraping there was no sanding to get the finish and uh, it come out it's a, it's an oil finish called Waterlux and the finish it just come out wonderful another feature is that when wood is cross grain so this person the, this piece goes this way the grain and this wood goes this way so if you fasten this here, then there's a tendency that it's going to cause wood to split and crack somewhere down the road. So this piece is retained by a sliding dovetail in behind it, which I had never done before and was an interesting project. So all of this is to make it last for hopefully 100 years and, and come out nice. I hope you like it. Thank you for looking.